So over the past couple of days, I've received several questions about how to correctly emulate the mercenaries on PS2 using PCSX2, because it's a very fiddly game to make work on an emulator. And so I decided I'm going to put up a proper tutorial that I can link to in the event that I get further questions. So, first things first, my system specs. I've got an i7 CPU and I've got a GTX 550 Ti graphics card, 10 gigs of RAM. Uh, here's the DX Diag processor, i7-2600 at 3.4 GHz, GTX 550 Ti. So, first thing you're going to want to set under Config, Video, Plugin Settings, change it to D3D9 or D3D11 software. That's important. The interlacing doesn't matter. Because I've got a quad-core computer, I have set extra rendering threads to 2. It's always the number of cores you have minus 2. This gives a very significant boost of frame rate in-game. Typically I run at a smooth 60 when I've got this up, except for areas that are very heavy in smoke. So this is a very important setting if you can spare the extra cores. I have Edge anti-aliasing on. One big downside to the software renderer is that you cannot change resolution scaling which creates a very low resolution uh, output video. This, however, is a necessary sacrifice because the hardware renderer just doesn't create a functional experience. So that's the most important thing. If you want to make it quicker under emulation settings, turn on speed hacks. Um, INTC spin, weight loop. I have fast CDVD on as well, even though you really don't necessarily have to have it on. I also have VU cycle stealing set to 2. 1 is a, typically a more stable setting for VU cycle stealing, but 2 gives a higher frame rate. It does, if you set it to 3, you get a further increase, but it makes the game feel jittery, so I don't like doing that. I have MVU flag hack on, but I have MTVU off, because this actually takes up an extra core if you um, have a multi-core computer. So I would suggest leaving this off. Aside from that, there's really not much else you can change to make it work. So I'm just going to do a test boot to show these settings in effect. Ah, excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. So things to keep in mind, it's fairly normal for there to be low frame rates on the menus and in the first couple missions of the game. However, outside of that, um, things should speed up quite nicely, run pretty smoothly. So, I've got a fairly good frame rate so far, but you will see some slowdown right here. You can hear the audio stuttering. So let's load a save. Also, in the bottom right, you'll notice that the, the little save window, the little video in the bottom right, doesn't work. It looks like someone's traveling through hyperspace. That's pretty normal. There's a lot of visual glitches like that. However, once you actually get in-game, aside from it being on the low res side of things. It runs just fine. You know, all the controls function. Everything just works. There is some slowdown. However, if your computer can handle this running this at all, typically it's not too bad. It'll get no slower than 40, 45 frames per second. There's some awful audio glitches that goes with the slowdown. And unfortunately, that's pretty unavoidable. Uh, my computer currently is struggling a little bit because I'm running the recording software alongside this. It's taking up some CPU usage that I can't really spare. But, you know, the game works, the game runs, everything looks fine. In areas that have heavy fog, you can expect a 10 FPS drop, typically. But. Like, around here, it's not too bad. Because you can't change the resolution scaling, you're going to have kind of a crappy image. 
you can probably tell everything's really alias there's pop in but it's it's the best you can do again hardware rendering just doesn't work it there's a lot of visual problems you can get at like a 10 fps max if you're lucky so don't even try that and aside from that just make do with what you've got and have fun blowing up some north koreans so that is my tutorial on how to make the mercenaries run on PCSX2.